Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about math. And in particular, I'm going to talk about how we're doing with math with this curriculum, Singapore Dimensions. There are plenty of videos out there talking about Singapore Dimensions, but I just thought I would add my opinions and my thoughts toward it. Uh, we have used this for, this is our third year using it. Um, so we did the pre-K and then we did kindergarten and we are in the middle of first grade and we're in the second semester. So I just kind of wanted to briefly talk about how things are going and just what I think about this curriculum. So right now we're doing a lot of um, arithmetic, which for this grade is just um, addition and subtraction. And we're starting to get a little more challenging where it's like addition up to 40 is where we're at right now. So far, what I have to say about dimensions math is they give a lot of different ways of how to do uh, mental math. And mental math in itself is, I love it. I wish I was taught how to do that because as a child, I just remember memorizing a lot of um, addition facts. And then from there, I don't really remember much of like being taught how to like group the numbers, that kind of mental math. But this does really well with that. And then also they use a lot of visuals and they use like blocks. This is the breaking up part that you could do in your head where they take the number apart and then they add the whole thing at the end. Um, I think all of that is great. And you can do it in different ways. You don't have to break up the five. You can add that to, you could add to this, make it 30 and then take, you know, well, actually, I think that is what they did there, but you know what I mean. Like, they could break up this one, break this one up into 20 and 8, and then from there add 8 and 5, and then add it at the end. Um, here they have the cards where they say, you know, this is how many 10s there are, and then this is how many 1s, and you break it up in that way. Here's a, a numbers chart so that um, they can visualize it that way and see patterns. Uh, you know, the tens, twenties, the fives, the odds and evens. Here's some number cards. So I really love that. And here's some grouping just so they could visualize again the groups of tens and then the ones. Of course, the number bonds, um, some more of like visualizing the cards. So I think that part is great. Sometimes like I think a child can get overwhelmed by all the different ways. So what I try to do is my son, he actually does his own mental math. He does it his own way. That is actually not uh, shown in this book as of yet. And so I let him do that because I, as long as he can do math, that's what matters to me. The only thing is sometimes they do want you to break it up the way they do it. Sometimes it's not just as simple as, oh, what's 20 plus one, but sometimes they have you fill it in so that you're doing the work the way they want you to do it. So when that comes, I just, I just try to repeat it. I try to repeat the concepts and just kind of walk it with him because the way they do it, it's not, <laughs> It's not how he wants to do it. It's not how he thinks. And so I just kind of remind him and walk him through it the way they are breaking it down. But besides that, when they have problems like this, where there is no showing of the work, I let him just do it the way he wants. I let him do his own way of like his own mental math. And I don't force him, you know, to, to do it the way they're doing it. Even if I might prefer the way they do it, I just let him do his own mental math. And if you're curious how he does it, what he does is, this isn't a good example because those are kind of easy, but I'll go to a harder one. Okay, so like what he does here is he will say what's 20 plus 6, 20 plus 6 is 26, 21 plus 6 is 27, 22 plus 6 must be 28. That's what he does. I don't mind it. I think that's fine. He does it in his head, so... Will he regret that later uh, when we get to really big numbers? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. So far, it seems like it's working just fine. So now, another thing I want to talk about this book is um, the word problems. He does have a little more trouble with them, um, but I think that's pretty normal as well because, you know, it's not just as simple as there's an equation to solve, but he has to make the equation. Um, and sometimes he kind of tends to overthink. I don't think it's the fault of the book, the way they're wording it or anything. 
I think he just tends to overthink it, which I think is normal and it's just his personality. The only thing that worries me about that is um, when they do testing. Um, he doesn't do any testing right now. He is with a charter school. I think they start testing third grade, maybe fifth. I just can't remember. But when they do start testing, I do wonder if he's not going to be accurately assessed because he might just read the questions totally wrong. Or maybe that is just part of the assessment and maybe he is having a problem with that. Either way, we're working through it. It's not over. He still has lots of opportunities to practice, but that's just kind of where he's at there. Once in a while, it's very rare, they will give a problem where even I'm confused and I don't know what they're asking. Um, but again, that's very rare. For the most part, this book is very clear with what they're asking. So I like that. I also do like how colorful it is. I think it, these books are very organized. They have colored tabs to show you what chapter you're on so you can match it with the teacher's guide. Um, and they also have uh, at the bottom, they designate um, which exercise in the workbook goes along with what was the concept that was taught in the textbook. So the only difference from the workbook really is just that it doesn't have color. But um, another difference too is that the problems are a little slightly easier and i think it's done on purpose so that they can do it on their own for the most part once in a while if he gets stuck i'll come and help him but i try to just let him do it on his own so that um i can see if he understands it another thing i really love about these books is i in my opinion they do give a lot of pages for practice so that just to make sure they really really get it you know there's just plenty of problems and sometimes i worry like when I worry, oh, it probably wasn't enough practice, they will end up doing it again in the next lesson. And I'm like, oh, good, I worried for no reason. Like, there, there's plenty room for practice. Probably a con about this curriculum, which was part of the pros at the same time, <laughs> was um, just the many different ways that they show that you can add and subtract. Sometimes there's just, I think it could be a little overwhelming and sometimes it's just not a way that maybe the student would like it. Like they just don't want to do it that way. Sometimes they kind of force you to do it with the way they give the problems, whether it's the number bonds or they have you fill out, you know. So sometimes, you know, that could be a con. And But I really like the variety of activity that they do. Uh, right here they have matching Right here they have like a game where they have to color in and shade and make the bee reach the flower, you know. So it's like, it's really nice just the way they come up with creative ways for them to do math. Like I said, I mean, look, these are number cards. I totally forgot about the number cards. So, but just emphasizing how there's just so many ways to like visualize. If they're more visual, they have this. My son actually is not visual. He totally ignores these. <laughs> He's very just straightforward. And so that's another thing that could be a con if your child is not a visual learner like mine and they just wanna just get more straightforward to the problem and just do it in their head. It could just be a little extra, it could be too much. But I think that's great that they even have it though. If it's just there um, at their disposal, you know, that if they need it, if they want it, it's there. So that's really good. I really love that about this curriculum. Um, it also comes with a test book, which we haven't really been using, but it's just nice again. Extra practice. Uh, let me get that out. So here's a test book. And so if you just want extra practice or if you want them to just go ahead and kind of test them to see if they could do it all on their own, that's a way you can use it. Uh, kind of looks like the workbook. This is there too if you want this book. Uh, let's see. Okay, so another thing I wanted to bring out. This is the home instructor's guide. Um, I did have the other guide, teacher's guide, which is more ta uh, tailored for like public school, um, a, a teacher that has a classroom with multiple kids. Um, so I did use that at one time and I didn't think it was much of a difference only because I actually don't really use these. In here, there's enrichment activities, there's additional games and activities that you can do with them. Probably the only way, the only reason I would bring this out is just to look at the answers, but because it's just very simple math for now, I don't even use it for that. I just do it in my head and then I correct it from there. But yeah, I actually don't really use these. I try to look through them 
and I just don't think they're necessary personally. I think we're pretty straightforward when it comes to the math. He doesn't love math, so it's not like he wants to keep doing like games with them. He loves games. And I'm sure if I would play the games with him, he would enjoy it. But he also very much likes to just get done with school and move on to like playing. He's very active. So yeah, we don't really do like the games or anything. But this is nice to have if you feel like your child needs it. But yeah, it is very organized. And I do really like the setup of how they um, have this laid out for the home instructor guide. So definitely nothing wrong with this book at all it's just me i don't i just don't use it <laughs> once in a while though i will if i don't understand what they're exactly trying to teach like the concept or something i'll come back and refer to this and it'll explain it to me um, so it has been helpful i'm not saying that i absolutely never use it but when we first started learning subtraction with just like the single digits, I definitely used the games that we did do a couple of games. Um, so yeah, we, you know, sometimes they're fun and creative ways to use it. Lastly, last thing I want to bring out is that sometimes they have challenges. So if your child is really loving math or you feel like they need a challenge in the workbook, They'll have sections that will say challenge. So here you see it says practice. So it's just, you know, basic practice that um, things that they had learned. But then sometimes they'll have a challenge. For the most part, I definitely have to go over this with him because it, most times they're really challenging. Um, he doesn't really enjoy them, honestly. I don't think they're, in my opinion, don't think they're totally necessary for them. I think this is more for people for children who love math or they're just getting it so well that they could use a challenge. I think that's good for them. Um, I do still do it with him just to do it, just because, just to see how he'll do and just to kind of expose him to those challenges, make his brain think. <laughs> but I don't think they're totally necessary. And so, so you know though, that is there and that is pretty cool. Um, now, I did want to bring out something. If I can have like my perfect curriculum that would suit my child the best see this is the thing i'm afraid of changing math curriculums because it's not going bad for us like this is working for us the only thing i do wish is i kind of wish this would be a, just a little more straightforward because there are just so many different ways of them to solve the problems that sometimes I wish they could just give the simple math problem and just not have all these different like visualizing of the of the of how to solve it or whatever. I did watch this YouTube video. I'm going to put the um, link in the description. I'm also put the channel name here from a mom who was talking about math mammoth. And I really enjoyed her video. She did a good job in explaining the curriculum and just kind of like overview of it. And honestly, it really appealed to me. What I liked about what she said was that it was very straightforward. That stood out to me so much. She kept saying, this math is very straightforward. It's very straightforward. And I just, I was so close to changing my curriculum. I'm just scared to be honest to do that because I don't want to change something that's not broken. Like, you know what I mean? Like this is going well. And I'm afraid if I choose that curriculum and then it doesn't go well, that I'm just messed them up, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. If you're familiar with that curriculum and if you have a child that's similar, that seems similar to how my child thinks and you think the switch would be good. I know it's actually a lot cheaper too. That, that curriculum is a lot cheaper than this one. So I don't know. It, it might be a good fit for him, but um, yeah, I don't know. I could use some advice for that <laughs> but like I said it is going well it's not like I feel like there is a need to change this curriculum it is good do I think there's something better out there it crosses my mind yes I do I do think there are there's a better curriculum out there that will fit my son better but I'm just not sure about switching just because math too is just one of those subjects that is like it's not like a fun subject like science or history where you know you could change it and it's not a big deal this one to me it scares me like I don't want to <laughs> change it if it's I don't want it to be like fall fall behind or anything because yeah it could be a challenging thing to retract all that so that is pretty much my review of 
this. If you use a, a math curriculum that you love, please share it with me. Um, I would love to hear about it. Um, now I'm going to get into a couple of math toys that I got and let me share that with you. Okay, so here I am unboxing this box here. And firstly, let me just go to this box because this already is like standing out to me. <laughs> I got him a cash register. And so we have not yet started getting into money, not for this um, year yet, but I know we're going to get into that. The very last one, but I know it's coming um, where we're gonna get into money. And so um, I thought this would be a good time to buy him a cash register so that we can practice and it can be fun. Then what I got him was, I thought this was really cool. See, there's a lot of them. So I'll just kind of pull out one of them just to kind of show. These are power pens. And so what this does is there's a math concept that he can practice, but they're kind of like quizzes. And with this pen, here it is here. When he presses on an answer, it will either reward him like, yay, or like a little, you know, those good sounds. Um, or it'll be like, er, you know, one of those bad sounds showing that he got the answer wrong. And so it's just nice to kind of get him to test himself on his own time and just additional practice. Here's one on addition. So I love this. And they're pretty much multiple choice this one and there's so many of them i actually pretty much got all of the ones that they had available so here's one on multiplication obviously he'll use later oh it says grade two so that's coming up wow um can't believe that's gonna come up next year um, here's money again here is division let's see what grade third grade oh i'm nervous subtraction time we're gonna get into that soon as well and lastly fractions wow second to fourth grade so um obviously he's gonna be getting into a lot of these if not already it's very soon money multiplication that's all coming up very soon because he'll be in second grade next year next school year so there you have it again here's the pen so there's the sound and yeah, it'll tell him if he had the right answer. So yeah, these are the, the two things that I got him for math and I'm very happy and excited about them. So that's the end of my math video. If you would like to subscribe, I'm going to um, very soon show a video of what he got for his curriculum. I already have all of his new curriculum except for one subject. And it's actually just one more thing I need for language arts. So I'm so, so excited to get that and then I'll finally um, send that video out for you guys. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.